guys, do you want to learn how to draw this adorable little schnauzer? If so, please like, subscribe, share the video, and you are going to need to grab all sorts of other fun stuff so we can doodle away. You are going to need some paper to draw on. You are going to need a pencil or something to draw with. You are going to need an eraser to erase any mistakes you might make and a marker to outline your doodle. And when you have all of those supplies, don't forget the crayons, markers, colored pencils, or paints so we can add some color to this awesome doodle. Grab all of those supplies and let's get started. drawing a schnauzer and I'm not entirely familiar with schnauzers. I own a Dalmatian, a Basenji mix, and a Pity mix so I don't really, I know what they look like but I'm not really familiar with much about them or their sassy attitudes that I know all dogs have. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our paper vertical so it's going to be skinny on the sides but it's going to be tall in the middle. So your paper is what my kids like to call hot dog shaped or tall and skinny. And we are going to start with the schnauzer's nose. So I'm going to go right on in here and make a curved, rounded, triangular shape. So instead of making a nose that's an oval or making it a big real triangle shape, we're going to round the triangle. Dogs' noses, if you have one, they don't have points at the end. They're rounded. So we want to make sure we draw them rounded. Then I'm gonna come down from my little tip here just a little bit. So I have a very small little line there and that's just gonna help for us to make kind of that fur on both sides of his nose. So now what I'm going to do is we are going to go ahead and I'm going to come towards the outside here of his nose and I'm gonna curve down. I'm gonna skip a little bit in the middle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna curve down. And I'm gonna make a little zigzaggy design here. So I'm sure you can hear my dogs barking right now. <laughs> that would be Pongo, my Dalmatian. All right, we're gonna make a slight S-curve shape here. So kind of a goofy little curve. So now we have kind of the big fluffy parts when he would get groomed in the front of his face there. And I'm gonna come down right underneath it and I'm gonna make what kind of looks like a beard. So we're gonna curve down here and just add in a little zigzag there for that downward fur. So we've got kind of his mouth area here and his nose. So now I'm gonna go up above his nose and I just wanna add in a couple little zigzags there of fur, nothing major, just a couple little pokes. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in his eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw on both sides here a line going up. And we can go in and add in his eyes. His eyes are gonna be a little bit on the smaller side. So I'm not gonna put a dot in the middle. If you wanna fit one in, go ahead. I am not going to try. Now I'm gonna give him kind of some big old bushy eyebrows. There's one big bushy eyebrow. I'm gonna come over here and add in two big bushy eyebrows. And then I'm gonna go right above where my line is and I'm gonna go up with a little bit more line. I'm gonna kind of skip my eyebrow, go up a little more. Now we're gonna add in his ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and come up and down with a little wiggle there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, up and down. And I'm right up above those lines. And now I'm gonna go kind of in the middle here and make kind of an S curve. Do the same thing here, kind of an S curve. And then I'm just gonna curve down and up with a line. So curve up, I don't know why I said down. 
curve in and then put a little line. And now we've got our little schnauzer's ears. And I'm gonna add in this opening just some little extra fur. Maybe he just got groomed. He's looking sassy. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and draw in his body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and curve kind of down here. And I'm gonna come down with a straight line. Now this line is gonna come down a little further than these lines because his paws are gonna fall right in here. Now right here you can go ahead and add in a very long skinny looking Y or you could even do a couple little zigzags for maybe some extra little patches of fur. Now I'm gonna go across the top here. I don't know what my dog is barking at. I'm gonna go across the top of both of these with a curved line and the part over here is not gonna be touching the ground so this one's gonna come down further on both sides. And I'm gonna curve around till I meet, match up with that line. And then I'm gonna go back towards that line that we made there. So that way his paws look like they are back a little more. I'm gonna give two lines there. So we've got his front legs. Now we're gonna go ahead and make that nice curved shape for his back legs. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the rounded and we're gonna come straight back. And his back feet are not gonna be the same in the same location as the front ones. Front ones are gonna be further more, back ones are gonna be back more. So let's go ahead and give him a little dog bowl because I made him kind of small. Hopefully you made yours a little bigger. I made him kind of tiny on this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a little dog bowl here. Maybe a bone over here. My dogs are obsessed with their dog bones, but they're kind of on the bigger side. I don't know what my dog is on down there. He's not a happy camper though. All right, there we go. So we go in and drew our schnauzer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my crayons and color in this adorable little doodle. So get your supplies and let's color. Guys, look how cute our little schnauzer doodle turned out. I hope that you had fun drawing with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I cannot wait to see you again next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.